Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest. I do appreciate you watching. So I've got a question for you. What is it that you think makes one Linux distribution different from another? What makes a Linux distribution stand out? Well, in some cases, maybe it's a new desktop environment. So, so for example, uh, Solus, uh, when they introduced the Budgie desktop. Or perhaps it's like MX16, where they have this phenomenal collection of system tools that allows you to set up the system and get it functioning properly. And in other cases, it's a combination of things. Well, OB Revenge OS, I think, falls into that combination of things category. That's really you know my uh, my assessment with OB Revenge every time I look at it it's really a combination of things that makes this a standout distribution so we want to cover some of those things today uh, this is the latest point release which was released 0203 of 2017 uh, running on the Linux kernel 4.9.6 so a fairly recent kernel now in this review I'm not going to dig in very deep into every system setting because there's a lot here there's a lot to see but I do want to cover the things that really I think make this a standout distribution and a distribution to keep your eyes on now this is based off of Arch with an open box or a modified open box desktop environment and there's lots to get into on the realm of customization and things like that some things that are going on here that really would make this a delight for a person who enjoys changing things up within their OS now what you're going to see first here is the welcome screen with uh, prominently right here update system software installation tool online and offline user guides uh, VirtualBox modules. I haven't dug into that to see what that is. You could join the G Plus community right here. And then the ever important NVIDIA driver. So I know lots of you are happy to see that set up. Kind of one click access to get in and get those NVIDIA drivers set up. Now I want to give a shout out here as well. The uh, creator of this beautiful custom OBR wallpaper and many other beautiful wallpapers out there is Carl Snyder, Carl with a K. So I believe you can find him in Google Plus, so shout out there, excellent work, because it just really gives this a very polished look as you first launch in. Now the first thing you're going to see outside of the welcome screen, you'll uh, go into the menu, and what you're going to see here is the whisker menu from XFCE. Now we're going to jump over here to Control Center, because this is another area that's kind of stand out. Um, you'll find when you launch in tabs that take you to the various categories and I really like this setup because it allows someone to focus in on exactly that particular category so here we're looking at customization where you see desktop manager settings notification settings panel switcher pop-up notifications QT themes theme and wallpaper everything's there for customization now while we're on that subject I have to show you panel switcher the first time I saw panel switcher within OBR I thought man this is great because you're not actually having to install different desktop environments but you can still change things up so currently we're on the XFCE or XFCE4 panel let's say I wanted to switch over to the Mate look so you simply one click switch to Mate and you'll see the top panel now has applications places and system now if you see a little system lag here it's not the OS I've got this running and I've had this running on my older test system which is two gigs of RAM an old Pentium processor with a very slow hard drive so any system lag you see here again is not the OS so uh, let's say okay now I've got my Mate panel up here now I want to add the Mate Dock, or I call it Mate Dock because you see it in Ubuntu Mate. So we one click add dock, you'll see that pop up, and now we've got our dock in place. Now there's also, oops, didn't mean to minimize that, there's also pre-configured layouts for Mate, OpenBox, Hybrid, and LXDE for example. So if I chose this pre-configured layout, you're going to see the dock disappear, the top panel is going to disappear, and you'll see the LXDE panel pop up here at the bottom with the simple menu. So I love this uh, panel switcher here for someone who enjoys changing things up. It's a delight to use. 
Now there's other areas where you can go in deeper and you know you could go into theme for example and really dig deep into changing themes within the theme. Uh, by default here you have arc dark but you could get in and change colors and icons, windows borders, fonts, so on and so forth as well as wallpapers. Now the other tabs within the control panel are for system. So there you're going to be able to you know, uh, go into your Wi-Fi settings. Uh, you've got auto start here, the OB, OB Revenge auto start, uh, power management, printer settings. Now under software you're going to see firewall configuration. Oh, I like this, the OB Revenge uh, Pac-Man mirrorless tool. So uh, that will go in and index the 100 fastest repositories or servers for your uh, repositories for your software. You also have the OB Revenge software tool and again I'm not going to click in on everything here because there's so much to see but that's basically a grouping of top tier Linux software out there so Firefox, Simple Screen Recorder, things like that for quick access to install. But you also have, if you're familiar, if you're an Arch user or familiar with uh, Pac-Man or Pamac, um, you'll be familiar with the software manager. You could go in and set up the Arch user repository and everything. Again, this is an Arch-based distro. You also have update manager, so everything you need for controlling software under the software tab where it should be. Now here's the highlight, the OBR tools, and again this is where I will draw a parallel between MX-16 and OB Revenge. They both have excellent sets of system tools. So from here you can install your codecs. Uh, you could go into activity desktop settings. You could install Flash. You've got a grub configuration tool built in. A kernel manager. Create a live OB Revenge USB. NVIDIA driver installer, terminal tweak tool, as well as VirtualBox driver manager. Now back in the early days of Linux, a lot of what you see here with these simple to use system tools would have been via terminal and you would have gone through many hoops to get things set up properly. You would have spent time on forums where people would say to you go read the manual and you know it'd be a process. So today we've come a long way and I'm really really happy to see OBR tools in place and again I think this is an area that sets OBR apart from a lot of the other distributions. So someone fairly new to Linux, you know, I, I don't always recommend Arch-based distros for brand new users to Linux, although I'm starting to change that, that opinion. Um, but if you've been using Linux uh, and experimenting, you still appreciate this tool set. Um, you know, it saves time. And, you know, I for one, I don't know about you, but I for one, I'm not a huge fan of using the terminal. I like to go in and do things through a graphic user interface. Um, you know, to me, it's just simpler that way. But, you know, to each his own. I know many of you out there enjoy just, you know, putting the commands within the terminal and doing things that way. And that's what's great about Linux is we have that choice. But again, thrilled to see OBR tools in place. All right, so we're going to jump over here and I want to talk about some other things that make this a joy to use and, and, really the benefit of some of someone who maybe is used to say Windows for example where you have lots of right click options uh, so with one right click you've got Synapse for a quick search file manager access terminal uh, a list of applications now I'm getting a null here and I'm not sure if that's because I've changed the desktop environment uh, at any rate, this gives you quick access to everything that's installed on the system. Not sure what's going on with null as opposed to the actual uh, categories. But you've got quick access to screenshot, uh, Conky Manager. So let's start Conky. As a matter of fact, this would actually be um, what you would see by default here uh, would be the Conky System widget. Um, also, with right click, you can launch right into Control Panel. Uh, change your wallpapers and so here are some of those other wallpapers from Carl Snyder as well as a, another you know nice selection 
So right click, lots of function there. Uh, you can get into advanced system uh, functions as well as advanced open box desktop environment functions. Now, I appreciate also that OBR is a minimal install. Now, when you see this list of accessories, you're thinking, okay, that's a huge list. Well, it is, but you've got all of the OB Revenge tools in place here as well. Now, here's your Conky Manager. You see that Compton is pre-configured and set up, as well as your control here for Docky. And so if you were to remove all of the OBR tools out of this section, you'd see it's, it's really not that long of a list. Now, if you go back in and you look at the rest of the um, application categories, I installed Firefox, so before you only had ZenMap, eLinks set up, and MailReader, so there's not a lot pre-installed there. Uh, under Sound and Video, I installed VLC and Simple Screen Recorder. Also, I was happy to see Pulse Audio Volume Control was uh, set up. And I think previously, I'm 99% sure that the previous version uh, did not have Pulse audio volume control in place. So happy to see that. But again, very minimal install. Now, I like that simply because um, everyone uses their operating system differently. You have different needs within your group of applications that you use than I do. Um, you know, we all do. We all use our operating systems in a way that suits us with applications that suit us and so to have a minimal install here that allows me to go in and add just what I need well I appreciate that and it's kinda of like a custom ROM on your phone you know you buy a phone from a particular carrier and you boot in and you've got tons of bloatware you've got bloatware from the carrier sometimes you have bloatware from the manufacturer and I myself, I put these minimal custom ROMs on there that allow me to go in and add only the software onto the phone that I you know, want to use. Same way here with a minimal install within OBR, I can build up and you can do the exact same and you would add only the software that you need or that you use. So um, overall, I'm going to sum things up here. If you're an Arch uh, user, an Arch fan, definitely give this a look. Or perhaps you're someone who is just kind of bored with what you're using and you want something that gives you lots of options, lots of configuration options, or maybe you need an easier way to set up NVIDIA drivers and Flash and some of the other things that are built into the OBR tools, then definitely you're going to want to give this a look. Well, I hope this helps. I appreciate you watching and uh, we'll check you later.